Alex. Do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex? Don't make this hard. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? Coffee would be great. Thanks. I don't know why I offered we're actually out. Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. What the hell are you talking about? Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. I have the evidence. Right here. It doesn't matter. Look, what happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. I just handed you a smoking gun. It shouldn't matter how I got it. Maybe not, but it does. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. You know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. <laughs> if you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. I think you should do it. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. 
Typhon buried something in the mountains, something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Alex, please. I don't want you to get hurt. Then help me, damn it. Fuck me. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah, well. Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me. If you want, call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? risk your life over this? Gabe, Mac, Alex, who's next? Fuck, fuck, fuck! Just keep your head down, Tony. You're just 
a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed. Not you. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible. But they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. Just have a little courage. Please. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? Alex. Be careful. Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. First, I need to get out of this dress. Might as well go talk to Jed now. I feel feel a bit better. I guess I can go see the boss man now. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. 
But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? I've been chasing proof that Typhon was responsible for Gabe's death, and I found out they buried something. A secret. Now they're threatening me. And Steph. And Ryan. Threatened? How? Pike showed me photos. Typhon's been watching us. I'm not giving up, Jed. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. Please, Jed. What's the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. There, up ahead. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. Jen, why are you sad? I'm sorry, kid. Jed. What are you doing? I tried to talk you out of it. Scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell.
Welcome back, Alex. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? I thought I learned what it means to make a place your home. That must have felt like quite the victory. Let's talk about how it feels to know that you might have been wrong. I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a sweet boy. But Alex, you're right back where you started. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. What the fuck? Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Is that what I look like? Really? These don't belong to Dr. Lin. A tuning peg. I guess that's me. Case number 53322. Thrown down a... what? Years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you you can't undo. Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. Um, Alex Chen? My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. 
Alex. Gabe? <gasps> You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say... a hospital? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. <laughs> Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick, so is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. <sighs> Alex, go check on your mother. Okay.
she was right over there, waiting for me. There it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. Gabe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. Mom used to fidget with her keys whenever she was worried. Gabe? Alex? I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today. And I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom? Are you okay? Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Things will be... different for a little while. But I am going to be okay. We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized every article. Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. It was always too hot in this room. How many nights did Dad spend in this room, sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners? There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom, every time I... Hi, Mom. So brave. Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. Wait. Did I miss something? Mom drank. Her throat was always dry. She knew. Even then, she knew. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess.
Hi, Mom. <coughs> Mom. Mom. Water, Alex. Get her some water. Thank you. You almost never cried, even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? No tears, my strong girl. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. Will you do that, Alex? <laughs> Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I... I think so. Do you miss her?
Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. This is going to suck so bad. Play your part. Alex? Hey! It's okay, it's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? my job to keep the peace. But no matter what I did, 